Okay, so we've done a lot of work in the mid-thoracic spine, a little bit in the upper thoracic and CT junction. The next part is just doing a little bit of a, a rotational technique for the TL junction, so getting that lower uh, thoracic spine. So this is a rotational technique, so I'm going to have uh, Freddie cross his arms kind of more lower down like this. Um, and then my uh, hand placement is going to actually interweave between his body and his arm. Now, you're probably instantly thinking about, well, that could be a little bit more challenging when we think of our female patient population. With them, I have them hug a pillow, and then I go through the pillow and do the same thing. So I've created a little bit of a buffer. So um, that's a, a good way to get around any kind of medical legal aspects of clinical practice. So I've gone through, I'm going over the top of this shoulder, and then I'm going underneath the opposite and grabbing onto the scapula, and then I use the scapula as well as this contact point that I've created to create rotation for my patient. Now as you rotate, the big thing that you need to watch out for is any kind of side bending. So I don't want to rotate and side bend him unintentionally. So I want to start off by just kind of rotating him on a spit. Now, my contact point for this thrust manipulation is going to be right around the transverse process of T12. To get there, I'm just going to identify my rib, just walk up on that 12th rib till I get to that area, and then I'm just going to again take the same point and put it right on that transverse process. A lot of times you're going to have an increase in the thickness of the uh, erector spinae in this area. That is normal. You can just... Um, put your contact point over the erector spinae because just deep to that is going to be that transverse process. Now from here I'm going to need to do a lot of footwork so we're going to show that portion a little bit of a different video. Okay, so now that we've got everything here I'm going to come back make my contact point and I'm going to take this arm and I'm going to tuck it into my body a little bit. Then most of the work of getting the patient set up for this manipulation is going to be done by moving my feet and my hips around the patient. So I'm starting off with my base of support predominantly on this side or towards me. What I want to do is I want to walk this around so that it's predominantly over towards the opposite side. Now Freddie's kind of stiff so I'm not going to be able to get as far over as you may on some patients, uh, but you can envision what I'm going to do. So I'm walking this around. How do I do that? I'm going to create an anterior, medial, and slightly superior contact point with this. And I do that just by rocking my pelvis underneath my arm a little bit. And then from there, I'll lock him up uh, or create that pre-manipulative tension and then just a little bit of a thrust with my hip, driving my elbow in. And that's all there is to it. 